Okay, so I'm just going to give a short demonstration of the functionality of our Kestrel Tools capsule engine within Contact. Uh, similar functionality can be found in the new sign player. However, uh, Berlin Strings is not on sign yet, so I'm showing this example on Contact. Now, um, essentially, there's two kinds of patches, and this is a general scheme for the way that Orchestral Tools lays these out. You've got the single articulation patches and multi-articulation patches. So you can go to the single articulations, and you can drop all of these articulations into contact to separate instruments. Or they have these multi-articulations. So in this case, um, you know, you've got your long separated out from your shorts and a few other ones thrown in there. Some of which are these are ones that I, I just made just for my own brevity. Um, so essentially, yeah, you throw them in there. They've got 12 articulation slots, and uh, they're controlled by key switches, which you can see in this range at the bottom, um, the red being un unactivated articulations, the green being activated articulations. Now, um, at, at this point, you just put it in here like this. Uh, you can fill these full of whatever articulations you'd like and um, you can use the key switches to switch between them. So, and you'll see that uh, the key switches will change at the bottom and so with the articulation. Now, um, that's fine and dandy, but how does that help me if I want to control things via velocity? So, um, let's go ahead and just clear the articulations, and I'm going to show you two different ways you can use velocity within, um, in this case, the Berlin strings, or really, I mean, the same functionality exists for any of the orchestral tools and instruments that use capsule. And uh, essentially, I'm going to go in here, I've got the sustained immediate romantic vibrato patch loaded. Now, at the moment, it's being controlled by CC1. Now, I can open up this little wrench icon, and you can see a good number of controls in here. One of them is going to be CC slash velocity crossfade. All you have to do is press that, and voila, now this is controlled by velocity instead of uh, CC1. So if I press softly, um, you'll you'll hear the you'll yeah you'll hear the difference. So it's controlled by velocity. Now, uh, not that that's not bad, but if you're still able to use CC1, um, which would be much more idiomatic for how strings work, but you still want to incorporate velocity into your playing, uh, there is a way to do that by combining multiple articulations here. I'm going to go ahead and clear articulation list again. And I like to lay these out visually, but you don't, you don't have to lay them out in order that you want to use them. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and load up the first articulation slot with a sustained soft with romantic vibrato in the second slot i'm going to use a sustained immediate attack with romantic vibrato in the third slot i am going to use um, the sustained accent patch now right now it's just key switches however if i activate this mono slash poly key switch uh, you'll see that i've got a few different options now and the initial option is actually velocity switch which is convenient for this video now, all you have to do is press and hold the first key switch, and then press and hold the second at the same time, and then the third, 
up to four key switches this way. And you'll see what happens. First key switch, second key switch, third key switch. Now what you're seeing is um, basically these are the points in which it actually changes articulation based on velocity. And you can actually see the numerical value of the velocity here. So if I press softly and then generally press louder, you're, you're going to hear that it actually changes articulation. Well, the first thing I want to make sure that I do, though, is I do want to set this back to CC1. Okay, that's CC1. And this one, since I had previously set it to that, was not set to it. So I want to make sure that they're all set to CC1. So right now I've got kind of a mezzo, mezzo forte uh, dynamic with the mod wheel. And I'm going to press softly. And I've got the soft romantic vibrato. I'm going to press harder and get the sustained, immediate attack romantic vibrato. And then I'm going to press even harder and get the uh, sustained accent. Now, of course, you can use this while playing with sustains. Of course, you can actually still activate legato in all these and play legato lines that way instead. Hope that helped.